Flames is the third set in the Scarlet Violet era. Charizard. And is it the best set? Charizard. Probably not. Charizard. But did we finish it? Charizard. Yes, we did. We put this set in the limited edition Voltex Obsidian Flames binder and the cards are in Jet Dragon Shield sleeves. As always, we start with our grass Pokemon, starting with Oddish and Gloom. And then we keep going until we get to our first EX of the set, Decidueye here. All right, next EX of the set, we have the Toad Scroll EX. Followed by a bunch of Capsa Kids. A bunch of Capsa Kids. <laughs> and we have our first deck exclusive right here, the Charmander Hollow that actually came out of the Charizard EX box, as well as the Charmanian. Moving on more into the fire, we have the Teeny EX. And then we move on to the Ice Q, the Terrestrialized EX. Very cool. Ice Q on fire. An ice cube on fire, go figure. Starting off some water Pokemon here, nothing special or nothing pops out. Not too much then. Keep on going with a little bit more water Pokemon and our last water Pokemon is a Palafin with a deck exclusive. Then we move on to the electric and we've got our next terrestrialized Pokemon, Tyranitar EX with that half art there. More and more electric and another Toxtricity deck exclusive non hollow right there and Amat EX. Lots and lots of Tadbulbs on the next page <laughs> yes. with a Maridon EX to round it out. One lonely little Kleffa sits there starting off our Psychic. We get another Clefable EX over here and another deck exclusive with the Toad Kiss down there. Yep. We have our first stamped exclusive of the set, and that's the Espeon with the Obsidian Flame stamp right there, reverse hollow pattern. Keep going, we have a Vesti Queen EX as a Terrastralized right there. Then we move into our doggos of the set, the Grievard and Houndstone, followed by the Houndstone EX, which is actually, I think, the last card we needed to finish this set. Believe it or not, this card right here, we could not pull. So crazy how that happened. On to our fighting type, we got some Larvitars and Pupitars, followed by a lot more Pokemon, but in these two pages, no EXs. We got a flat fish, but nothing too much else. And then we've got a Claw EX over here, and Glamora EX right here. And finishing off the fighting is the Coridon EX. And starting off the dark type, we have the set mascot itself, Charizard EX with that dark Terra type. Keeping it going, we have Umbreon. And on the next page, you're actually going to see the stamped promo, GameStop stamp promo, Umbreon right there. And then we have more doggos with the Houndour and the Houndooms and the Houndoom EX. And we've got the beautiful, beautiful Absol EX here and uh, finishes it off pretty much for the dark. Moving on to the steel. Steel type, not much to see on the first page. Couple of cards, following on to the next page. A lot more steel type, um, a lot of rooms. We have, mm -hmm. the, we have a Melmetal EX as well right here, followed by the Revivroom EX right there in the corner. We have a Dragonite EX Terra type, and then we start our colorless Pokemon. First EX there is the Pidgeot there. We've got Eevees and Lanoons. Cute little clay lily pup, but just more, more, more colorless. And then we've got the Greedent EX here with his terrestrialized berries even. Always eaten. Kind of like me. I like him. We're on another pig page. It seems like every set has a lot of Lechonk. Scarlet so Violet has, has a lot of Lechonk. This page actually has a Lechonk and two different artwork Oinkalones. And then we get into our trainers. Arvin, Gracius, Gita. And then we have Letters of Encouragement, Ortega, Patrol Cap, Pokemon League Headquarters, and Poppy. We're coming up to the end right here already. Yep. Finishing off, we got Rhyme, Team Star Grunt, the town store and vengeful punch. And that brings us to the back of the binder, the art rares, the illustrator rares, the secrets, all the cool stuff here. So starting with Gloom, which is a very cool trippy artwork. And his nine tails is absolutely stunning seen in person. The palafin is just really cool. I, the artwork is fun and the colors that pop out on that card are awesome. And the little belly, belly, belly bolt in the lonely little cave. Yep, then you have Cleffa wishing on her shooting star right here. 
Laritar eating what we hope to be a pile of dirt. Um, we have the junkyard dogs over here, the hound doors, which is a very adorable card. And you have a sinister looking scissor card right there. You have the Varoom that's waiting to become a full on race car right there. And then you have your Pidgey and your Pidgeotto on. Pidgey's on Route 1, Pidgeotto's on Route 4. Love what they did there. And then another Lechonk, but I love this one. He just ate so much until he just passed out. And then we have our terrestrialized full arts here, the Ice Q, Tyranitar, and the Speed Queen. And then the Glamora EX. Our full arts now that Glamora started them. Now we have Absol EX, pretty cool card right there. Absol always looks you good on the card. Cool. We have a Charizard EX full art. Eh, not too <laughs> fond of that one, but I mean, there are some Charizard fans out there, so sorry it's if we have a difference of opinion. <laughs> We have the Rev of Room EX Full Art, which is very cool. And then we have the Pidgey EX Full Art, which I absolutely love. And then we have Gita, Ortega, Poppy, and Rhyme as our Full Art Trainers. And then another Ice Q EX. This is the Secret Illustrator Rare. And he's just a flying ice cube with a candle on his head. Yeah. I don't know, pretty cool. And then we got this Rare Boy right here, Charizard EX, the chase for most people in this set. Um, followed by the Rev of Room EX and the Pidgeot EX. Pidgeot EX actually is my favorite card of the set. Absolutely gorgeous card. The texture great on that card. absolutely pops. We have two SIR trainers, the Gita and the Poppy. Not sure why, but Rhyme and Ortega did not get SIRs in this set. And then we have our golds to round it out. The Charizard EX gold, which looks like an Etsy card. Yes. That was my opinion in the beginning. It just looked like an Etsy card. Doesn't doesn't look like a real Pokemon card. I don't know what it is. Yep. We have the Artisan Gold Stadium card right there, and the basic fire energy in the gold, which makes sense that it goes with the set of City and Flame. Mm -hmm. And we have the Charmander promo from the ETBs. Absolutely right there. adorable. Look at how bad he wants to eat that little Pidgey. Little Charmander. There you have it, a set anchored by Charizard, but Pidgeot EX is the best art in the set. I do agree. But what's your favorite Charizard? Comment down below. And if you like this video, watch, watch one of these.